Hey guys, this is Christy with Mamaw's Little Ducklings. Um, I'm just gonna do kind of a test to see if I can still make videos. So I went shopping today and I picked up this cute little outfit and I have a little tiny one. Um, let's see, it's a little preemie outfit. It's got this cute little polar bear. That'll be his little Christmas suit. <clears throat> This is the uh, Paradise Galleries um, Thin and Sparky Baby. This isn't what he came in. I put this on him. So anyway, I've been working on trying to get all my dolls dressed for Christmas. Oh, you don't have a onesie on. I like to put onesies on. Well, he at least you got socks. He does have socks. So that's good. Anyway, let's see. I'm almost... Done. I think I only have um, one, two, three, four, maybe five more babies that I need to get dressed. And I didn't film each one because there's too many. <laughs> when I get them all finished, I'll put them all together and show them all to you if I can still make videos. All these changes. Um, and I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I went in and looked on my account to see where you're supposed to say whether it's for children or adults that y'all are talking about, but I couldn't find anything. I guess I'm not tech savvy enough for this video business. I don't know. I can't find it. So if you know where it is or how to do that, <laughs> I'd appreciate any suggestions on how to do that. I'll try it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse my sniffing. Oh, the funniest thing. Um, who was it? Is it a lady? Yet? No. Uh, when we went to um, my husband's mother's house um, and sister sister's house for um, Thanksgiving, one of his aunts. We picked her up on our way and, and took her with us, and she's quite the chatterbox, but <laughs> she said the oddest thing, but she was sniffing and said, well, you have to forgive my sniffing. I went to the doctor, and he told me I had arthritis in my nose, and I said, how can you have arthritis in your nose? You don't have a bone in there. Well, I mean, you know, a joint or anything, and she said, that's what I thought. He was crazy, so I went and got a second opinion. He said the same thing. I still didn't believe it. So she went to another one. So, oh, look how cute he looks. Oh, and it fits. It's just a little preemie. I got it at Penny's. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, oh, look, and he sucks his thumb. I don't know if you saw the video where I opened and he sucks his thumb. You have to jam it in, but. Oh, isn't he cute? Look at that. <laughs> Can you see him? Let me pick him up. Oh, isn't that cute? He fits him. Oh, that's neat. A little big on the foot, but that's the most of them are. <laughs> oh, and it's so soft. Yes, he's so soft. Look at you. Now you look Christmassy. Here, I'm gonna put my pillow. Oh, well, you're on my bed. There you go. Here, look at that baby. Oh, that's sweet. Now you're going to match. Oh, you'll fit in the picture. Look, you got this wild hair here. Anyway, so with three doctors that said she had arthritis in her nose, I thought, well, my goodness, <clears throat> do I have arthritis in my nose? I sniff all the time. Mostly um, at work, and I work in a really dusty place, so I just assumed that it was work. And then, of course, every time I eat, my nose runs. Um, the older I got, it began to run. <laughs> and I remember a um, long time ago, my mom, you know, I noticed every time they, my mom and dad would eat, their noses ran, which... I've lost my mom, but I have my dad, and his nose does the same thing. 
and mine is terrible. Every time I eat, my nose is running. I have to go to the table with a box of Kleenex. It's, it's, it's a pain. But and the next time I go to my rheumatologist, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell him the story and see what he says. See what my doctor says. If I have arthritis in my nose, has anybody heard of that? That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. But maybe, maybe it's true. <laughs> I don't understand how arthritis in your nose it makes your nose run. Quite interesting. Actually, I haven't Googled it. I'm usually a fanatic about Googling everything just like I did when I um, screwed up my finger. I don't know if you saw where I did that video on my finger. Um, I'm trying to get it where you can see. I keep it wrapped up like this because the skin is real sensitive and if you touch it or bump it, it hurts. But I was on the phone like three months ago or so and this finger just popped and it hurt, felt like I broke it. And so I Googled, I just Google doctored it and it said put a splint on it and leave it on there for six to eight weeks and it should be fine. So that's what I did. So after eight weeks, <laughs> Well, this is this is how it is. It it's cricket. It's bent. It doesn't it doesn't work. I can't straighten it. It doesn't straighten. That's just a band aid. But it it won't straighten. Now I can I can still use it. So <laughs> anyway, I went ahead and went to a hand surgeon just to see if there was anything he could do. He was the rudest doctor I've ever been to. He just told me, uh, well, you should have come when you did it. It's healed up now. I said, but it still hurts. He said, well, just exercise it and get your strength back. There's nothing I can do for it now. I thought, well, excuse me. But I did have a friend at work that did give me the name of another doctor, and I thought about going, which I haven't done yet. But, I mean, it, I, it still functions. You know, it doesn't look the prettiest. But... You know, it's, I don't want to go through surgery. My word, that takes forever to heal. I'd have to be out of work. I'd rather bundle it up and protect. I just didn't take this off after I got home from work. I'd rather bundle it up and just protect it. So that's what I've been doing. And I didn't show y'all before <laughs> how to post the gross videos. But um, I was trying to change the battery in the garage door opener. And that was like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And I, I sliced open my thumb. Where's the camera? I don't know if you can see how good I've healed. You can't even hardly see it. But that cut right there. See, look how good I did. I, I think it healed up real nice like. And I was not focusing very good. It wants to focus and then it doesn't focus. Anyway, it still bends. It does feel really weird, though. It's numb right here. So I've damaged some nerves, but anyway, I was I was trying to pop open the garage door opener. And then I slipped and just slid open my thumb. That hurt. So you probably could have used stitches, but I just put a Band-Aid on it and let it go. And I think it healed up fine. Of course, I'm kind of numb, but they couldn't fix that anyway, I'm sure. Anyway... Here's my little Ashton is what his name is in his new little Christmas outfit. That's the first one I've shown. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and see if I can even post a video. And if while I'm doing that, I can figure out how you're supposed to say this is for kids or this is for adults. I'm fixing to find out. I'm curious. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining me and thanks for watching. And Merry Christmas if I don't see you again, which I hope I do. But anyway, God bless and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.